The 110th commemoration of King Dinuzulu Gatlejoayo almost descended into chaos at Emakosini in Ulundi. Program Director and KwaZulu Natal ANC Chairperson Sponiso Duma grabbed the mic and instructed Amazulu Prime Minister Tulasizo Butelezi to sit down. In no uncertain terms, he ordered Butelezi to get off the podium and allow King Misuzulu Gazuelitini to address the audience, leading to Amabuto taking positions in front of the stage in protest. Newsroom Africa's Ntando Myandu reports. It is befitting that we also extend our appreciation and thanks to you, Your Excellency, for the support that you and the national government continue to render to our reigning king. Our only request, Your Excellency, is for the provincial government of KZN to emulate your example of respecting our king. A senior leader of the ANC in this province, Mr. Pegim Tolo. ANC KZN Chepesin Boniso Duma sprang to his feet and seized the microphone, leaving Amazulu Prime Minister Reverend Tula Sizweb Telezi bewildered. You are becoming clumsy, and as is that, I said, the the government. A quick dramatic turn of events into the day's proceedings, much to the annoyance of regiments and the crowd. And the Amazul Prime Minister quickly recovered and returned the punches in songs and chants. Was this a display of remnants of political intolerance in the once volatile province? So, if you saw, once he started saying Begim Tolo, that was when Sponiso uh, Duma, the chairperson of the ANC, stood up and grabbed the, the microphone because he knew that uh, I think the speech that was going to come after that was not going to be very nice towards the ANC. So, there was that, that you know. What, what needs to happen, the, the people of KZN must find a, 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 a way of mon managing the position of the traditional prime minister because it's not in the government structure. In Wazulu Natal, there are elements of intolerance. If you ha are tolerant, you allow people to say what they say, and the audience is the judgment whether you are just making a story of nothing, out of nothing, or you are making sense. Earlier on in the day, President Sir Ramaphosa visited the grave of King Dinizulu Gatletwayo to pay homage to the late Amazulu King's contribution to the struggle for the country's sovereignty. Ramaphosa says King Dinizulu resisted the powers of colonialism. Like many before him and elsewhere who led their people in fighting against the colonial invaders in our country, his fight was not only for one group of people or in one area. King Dinizulu ascended the throne at the tender age of 15 after the passing of his father, King Tedrayo Gambande. He died at the age of 45 after a tumultuous reign characterized by battles and imprisonment. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Dandom Nyandu in Kleza, Ulundi, in northern Wazulu Natal.